So this is the um, toll booth of uh, the Earthen Bridge which we are crossing right now. We need to talk a little bit about the Earthen Bridge. That is the bridge that connects Sweden and Denmark. The bridge is something that call, is called, I think it's in English it's called a cable state bridge. It's a type of construction that is a little bit different from a suspension bridge, which is the one that you normally see, like I think the, uh, one of them is the Golden Gate Bridge, is a uh, suspension bridge. Um, but this is a cable state bridge and, and, and the difference in the construction is that you can see when we get a little bit closer that the uh, the road itself is um, being held up by cable attached directly to the towers as opposed to a suspension bridge where it's a cable that runs from one tower to the other and then you know cable is are attached to that supporting cable which in turn holds the road cable state bridges are a lot more a lot stiffer than suspension bridges and i i believe that the reason why they chose to make this a cable state bridge is that the train that passes underneath it there is a train track beneath the road here obviously you can't see that from this angle when a train passes there is a heavy load concentrated in a um, concentrated in, in a distance that is not you know a relatively short distance as opposed to cars and trucks on the bridge where it's more distributed the flip side of a cable state bridge is that they usually they are shorter as a suspension bridge can usually take this truck Okay, carrying away we're talking about the bridges i'm not really an engineer anything like that i just find those facts a little bit interesting and you can see the uh, cables that, uh, that go from the road to the tower directly but that's a little bit fun fact of a cable state bridge So we're in Denmark right now, we actually passed Denmark on the, the, the physical border exactly on top of the bridge. I should have said that when we pass, it's really just a sign. If there's border patrol or customs control, it's on, at the, uh, on the Swedish side, um, at, the, at the, the toll booth for the, for the, the bridge. But in the last 17 years where I've, where I've been commuting, I've only seen it maybe a handful of times. And I've never been, I've never got asked to stop. Going the other direction, on the other hand, is completely different because I get the, the passport control. On the left side is Christiania. You can tell by the graffiti on the walls. And oh, that is Christiania. And then it goes all the way to uh, the canals on the other side. And this is the main entrance. Ah, that's a truck pass. I can't really get a good picture. Nope. That was. shortcut here to avoid the traffic so there's a canal just in front of us 
and uh, there's a marina and if you and if you're a boat person you can book a lot I don't know if what's I, I don't know the sailing terms but you can book it if you just google marina Copenhagen I think that uh, a lot of stuff will pop up there's one called Wild Wilders Plus pronounced Wilders Plus in Danish The footage gets confusing with all of me moving my head all over, but I have to watch out for pedestrians, bicyclists, and whatnot. They're all over the place. It's not difficult riding or driving in Copenhagen, but you just have to be aware of whenever you make a right turn, pedestrians, bicyclists is, is coming from the back, from the rear, and you have to give way for those, even though that you use your indicators and whatnot have to give way for a bicycle they expect you to do that so use your mirrors use turn your head when you make a right turn for the next couple of days and then it's over let's see I have a favorite spot not because it's particularly nice just because it, I can fit in here between like, like that